Hello, this is Andy Ford from Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to look at making a number counter that goes up in an incremental value. So say, for example, you want to go up by 500. So we have a text layer here. I just typed in the number 1000, but that doesn't matter because we're going to add a slider control to control the value. So we'll add an expression to our source text of our text layer by hitting the stopwatch with an alt click or an option click on the Mac. Then we will drag our pick whip up to the slider value of our slider control. So we'll make a variable for this. Let's do num for num. So num equals. And then on the next line, we can use our math.round expression. And since we want to move up in increments of 500, we can add the appropriate math within the parentheses. And this will be our variable num divided by 500. And then outside the parentheses, we will multiply that by 500. So since we've used math.round, you'll notice that we won't see 500 until our slider value is at least till 250 because it's going to round to the nearest 500. And once our slider control gets to 750, we should see 1000. And so this is how you can create a slider control to move your numbers in any increment that you want. But let's take this a step further. Say you still want to have commas in the numbers where appropriate. So we create a function called add commas and a variable x and reference the string using Dan Ebert's equation. And then we return the commas in the right place. But in this case, we don't exactly want our slider value. We want this math.round value. So instead of using the num in parentheses, we are going to substitute our math.round in the parentheses. So now that we've done that, we will see that the commas are added, but we still keep our functionality of the increments. Now say you want to add some type of measurement to this, like we're measuring RPMs. You can simply append the text that you want to add. So we'll go after our parentheses in the last 500, and we will add a plus, and then we will add the text we want to appear in quotes. I will add a space and then RPM for RPMs. And the space will offset RPM from the number. And so if I set keyframes on my timeline, from 0 to 25,000, we should see the RPMs go up in increments of 500 to 25,000. So hopefully this tip of using math.round and the appropriate math can help you make a counter that goes up in the increments of your choice. Thank you.